AstraZeneca vaccine is 79% effective against symptomatic COVID-19 and 100% effective in stopping severe disease and hospitalization, as seen in the third phase of the clinical trial involving 32,000 participants. More than four-week interval between doses also increases its efficacy. Antibodies begin to form on the second week after the first dose. Notably, the trial also showed similar efficacy results in people over the age of 65 with vaccine efficacy of 80%. An extended interval of up to 12 weeks demonstrated greater efficacy. 4% of trial participants are Asians. Infectious diseases specialist Dr. Jean Solante said the inclusion of Asians in the study gives assurance that AstraZeneca will be as effective to Filipinos. AstraZeneca can also protect the elderly and even those with existing illnesses. The vaccine efficacy was really still very high, like 80% with those uh, uh, 65 years old and comorbidities. There's also no risk of thrombosis or blood clotting. This was after reports of around 30 blood clots occurred after vaccination in Europe. A specific review of thrombotic events found no increased risk of thrombosis. This vaccine is well tolerated and highly effective against all severities of COVID-19 and across all ethnic and age groups. But what about its effectiveness against variants of concern like the ones discovered in the UK and South Africa? It's very encouraging that we've got such high efficacy numbers when there are undoubtedly variants of concern in circulation in this study. And I think it also highlights why we believe that against severe disease, our vaccine will be effective against uh, all variants. In the clinical trial, among those vaccinated and having the South African variant, uh, there was still protection observed and those uh, participants did not develop severe COVID. So, so that means that uh, even if the variant is present in those uh, participants, uh, the, the vaccine still works. Dr. Solante adds, having more transmissible variants should even encourage Filipinos to get vaccinated and be protected from COVID-19. Caroline Bonkin, CNN Philippines.